Guys, we're putting new roof rails on my Honda Pilot. You can put these roof rails on a 2016 to 2022. Half the battle is finding rails that aren't cheap. I'm replacing some rails that I got that started to fall apart because they were garbage. This is the closest thing that I have found to the OEM. I mean, these are identical. I mean, literally identical. I'll put a link in the description. First thing you need to do, you probably think, well, I need to come up here and take that black strip off. No, you don't want to do that first. You know what I'm saying? You're like, uh, I don't? No. Let me show you what you need to do, okay? There this is... is the first thing that comes off, and you wouldn't think so, okay? This is up here, right up here, and this is here, okay? See these two tabs right here? This just, you have to get this plastic piece, and you just pop this out. Then... Okay, see this right here? Again, this is the piece that always breaks. It's actually this piece right here. This is the piece, okay? So what you have to do is because it would be right in there, if you can see that. You need to put your tool up through here and just push straight up so it pops this off. If not, you're gonna break it and then you're gonna have to get some caulk, which this is what most people do. Make sense? Let me show you how I did on this side over here. So we come over here and you can see right there is the tab. See this? This is the tab right here, okay? This piece right here is in there. So what I need to do is come up over here and just push this up straight. So get this angle like here and just push straight up so you don't break this tab. This isn't the end of the world. And the reason I say that is because see this one fits down on top of a bolt. And after you put the roof rails on, they're gonna sit on top of here. That's going to be hidden. But this is the first thing that comes What you off. guys do is there is a black trim piece that is in here. And you will notice from time to time, there's a little square and what you do is you pop open that square, you take the bolt off and you're gonna pull that trim piece out. Now, you get when... down to this last bolt here, okay? You have to make a cut. It doesn't matter where the cut is because your roof rack is gonna go over this. You don't wanna cut it too short, but it has to be about an inch or two in front of this bolt. You can see how I cut it. I did a terrible, terrible job cutting it. And I did a terrible, terrible job on the other side. All you have to do is make a cut about an inch to two inches in front of here. You don't need to measure this whole thing out. You have to have this piece. So don't pull this whole thing off. The right roof here. rail is gonna go over that and it's gonna go over this black piece here that you put up. If you bought the kit that I bought, you're going to get this and you want to exchange this because the ones that are up there are oxidized, okay? Because I broke my tab, I'm putting some silicone on there. That's all I'm doing. I'll squeeze this. I'm just putting a little bit of silicone on there right there. Like that. I'm gonna put some up here. And, and you're then... gonna have to close your tailgate. There, you can see that. And then there's the place where it goes. And this is easy, guys. You're just doing this. You're pushing that down on the bolt and that goes into the silicone. That is it. That's all you're doing there. Part, this just goes right in here like that. It just clips in like that. And that is that. See, and that's all that is. So when you're taking this off again, you're gonna use this stick right here. And over here, if you break that tab, what are you gonna do? Say it, say it. Uh, I'm gonna use some caulk. Uh, exactly, all right, let's go this side. Add a little caulk just so that stays because I don't plan on changing this anytime soon. And again, we need to put this piece on right here. So again, then we, look at the clouds guys, isn't that beautiful? We open that. And this piece again, just fits right in there. Now, if you do that, the rest of it's easy. You're like, oh no, it doesn't sound easy. Yeah, the, the hardest part is trying to get this piece off here without breaking it. And again, if I was doing it, you pull this piece off and then you slide this right under there and push up. Here is the bar turned on its side. Now I just wanna show you, see the two holes here? Two holes there, I know you can do it. There's one hole here and again, this is gonna cover that no matter how bad of a job, but you only have about four inches. So you only want to cut this about an inch and a half to two inches, okay? So what we do is we just kind of put this over like that and it fits perfectly, okay? 
and you're like, well, I'm done. Well, you're not done yet. I have a couple of tips and tricks that's gonna really, really help you out. Now with the rubber, see the rubber, how it's kind of pointed up. As this heats up, this will lay flushly. It just kind of conforms to your car. After we're done mounting that, there's a piece of chrome plastic, which is right here and it just locks in. And then we'll do the sidebars. Guys, here's what your bolts look like. There's two different sizes. You'll notice the difference in the big bolts and the smaller bolts. The smaller bolts have washers on them. Something you have to buy, okay? You need Loctite and it has to be blue, which is removable. You have to have this. If not, as you're going on vacation over time, these bolts can get loose. They will not get loose with blue Loctite. Without it, you're gonna notice that your roof rack with your topper is gonna start jiggling all over the place and you could lose your topper on the side of the road. So you need to put a drip in all of these bolts and you don't wanna under tighten them and you don't wanna over tighten them. With these smaller ones, guys, I would have loved to have put the washer they included, but there is no way to do that. Uh, and get it to get it's a real you got about three turns if you put the blue loctite on you have no problems at all but with the washer you had like one turn i don't know why they do that because these are oem this is the exact same size as the one from honda but it doesn't need to be overly tight you have to realize right here is not plastic that is metal right through here and so it's going to wedge down there just a little bit but that's enough to hold it because your main anchors are these three big ones that are on the front in the middle and at Not the to end. to be redundant, okay? Three of these, one on the end, one in the middle, one on the other end, two of these, they will not fit with washers unless yours is a little different than mine. And I've read that in many places. I would rather not have the washers because these are going into metal. Don't over tighten them, but make sure that they're down in there and use the blue Loctite. This is solid. This really is not coming up. So that looks really, really good. I'm gonna do the other side and then put the silver on there and I'll show you what it looks right, like. Now these small ones, these are the only two that lined up perfectly in the center. When you look at these, they're a little off-centered. That is okay. Each roof rack is gonna be centimeters apart because they have to weld the bolts that you're screwing these nuts down on top of. So they're not 100% accurate. I mean, they can be off a millimeter or so. So it could be a little bit off centered. That is okay. It's still gonna hold that down. It's on both sides. It's been on all the roof racks that I've ever put on. That's what it looks like. And again, the roof rail is covering that piece of plastic that we did over here. The roof rail is covering this over here. You can see that it's covering that. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on. Now, if you're a perfectionist, pay the thousand dollars and have Honda do it. Okay, honestly, if you're a perfectionist, you want to go ahead and pay the thousand dollars because uh, there are some slight adjustments. You know what I'm saying? But look at this. This looks great. This looks a thousand times nicer than what came off of it. Look at that, guys. Guys, that is ridiculous. It looks so good. Now, let me tell you what I've learned. On all the roof racks, you're gonna have a slight hole. Some people have put some black caulk in there or some silver caulk. As far as the sides, it's perfect. On the front, that's pretty doggone close. The last one, I had a pretty doggone big gap right here. That is normal. Even with the OEM Hondas, if you go to a lot and you look at those, you're going to see a little bit there. This will come off. And again, um, my last pair, they oxidized after about three years where I had to take them off. But because they were so cheap, um, I had to glue them on. This is the closest set to the OEM that I have you're found. putting crossbars on before you do anything, okay? you have to make sure those holes match up with your crossbars. If not, send the crossbars back, get another pair. Do not try to modify. These are made in a special way that where they have ballistic polymer, they have steel, and they are perfect. If you go and try to drill into that, I'm telling you, it is nothing but a long-term nightmare. I did it last time. JB welded it, and here's the thing. It was terrible because it loses its strengths. That bar will lose its strength integrity and you got nothing because you modified make sure first and foremost that the bars fit if not order another pair 
All right, guys. Look at the color of this. This um, is really nice. I mean, it really, really is just dead on with the OEM. You might find a little flaw here and there, but nothing major. Take your time, make sure you got it in the hole. Go gently. Look at that, guys. Check that out. That looks gorgeous. That looks equal to the OEM Hondas. I mean, I can't believe I found this company. They gave you all the parts. The only part that this company did not give you that some do, but it's not a big deal, is some will give you a piece from here to here, okay? You don't need it. Go with what you have on the car and just cut it off about there, about an inch and a half again before that bolt, okay? You can't even tell, it looks perfect. Guys, here is the finished project and as easy as the bars were supposed to be, there's always a little bit of finagling. And let me just tell you with these bars, I love the bars, but see this rubber bushing right here? I had to actually sit on this to get the holes to line up. So I love the rubber bushing on top of the rail. That is awesome. But because it is so robust, so thick, I had to actually bring a ladder next to the pilot, sit on this to get this piece here to line up with the holes. Now I was able to do that and I was able to adjust this bar. There is two places underneath where it has screws. I actually had to take one of the screws out on both sides to make the bar long enough. But again, you know what, guys? This is not an exact science, but I am very satisfied with the look. I like these raised bars a lot. I love the way the rails look. I'm so satisfied with the rails. And the bars, if I had to do it again, I would. I love the race bars because you'll notice on all your new vehicles, the bars have kind of changed the angle. They're no longer profile with the roof. They're more raised up. And it kind of, um, it kind of makes it look like a newer car, even though your car might be one or two or three, four years older, one of the 2016 Pilot. But these bars and these rails will fit the 20, 2016 through 2022 and that just gives you a look. And um, if that is something that you like, that look right there, then you might wanna go ahead and purchase these. Again, I'll go ahead and put the links in the description. And um, there you go. Hope this helped you out, guys. Thanks, peace.